guys, uh, next we'll be getting on to growing with my buds. I think we'll please need the desk cam because we've got some nice <laughs> bookage to show off. Mm. Before we get there, please remember this week, uh, poll is, mm. should kids be allowed to use cannabis? Hell no, faux show. It's complicated. Also, hashtag hotbox show to win something on Instagram in our weekly competition, Insta Your Gram. Mm -hmm. And I'm so like a grilled right now, I think it's time for Dan to take over <laughs> and take an analog in growing with my buds. In this week's section, we're going to be looking room. at grow room. books. Look at the camera. She's like yeah, a black um, yes. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Hold on, we're just getting some technical. Yeah. We should cut to ad here. That's <laughs> <coughs> it. Lekker. Cool. Yeah, check that out. Check it out. Um, hey, John Beat. Well, so John knows Christopher James, and John is actually, I see, speaking in Cape Town at um, Canatech at the end of next month. And he's oh, the nice. guy that interviewed Myrtle and I for the High Times magazine when we were all in Prague, which is like this interconnected global wow. thing. Yeah, hello John, good man. So John knows um, Christopher, who's in Nicaragua. So that's all very interesting. <coughs> <to our person. coughs> and boom, boom. Them oh, diamates are such little, 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 little things. Tried one last year with Jared, was heavily impressed. I love it, I use it every day. It's my favorite way to smoke. Yes, it's vapor. Thank you, Vapestore, yeah. for giving it to us. Yes. Thank you, Vape Store. Thank you, Vape Store. Right, so how's these books? Look at this lot here. Yeah. We've got a nice selection here. Hey? They, they, mm. Well, one thing that looks to me from just looking at the screen everyone else is looking at online is how well used they are. Yes, yes. look at that. These, are, these, are these your personal books? <coughs> uh, yes, well, what, two of them are. Two of them are. Yeah, two of them are. Well, yeah. they look like they they've got some hell of a use out. You've got they're, some. They they your Bibles. They yeah, are right. literally when you when you want to try and diagnose problems and just learn. They mm. are yeah, gold. With us some basics. And yeah, I mean, look at the what we were looking at earlier is when you know when we brought them in, we were seeing which one was the oldest essentially, which we had. This is the newest one. This is from Ed Rosenthal. This is his newest book. We'll go into them just now. But that's the big. Basically, it's got everything in it. I mean, that's is, like a version two, though. Yeah, that's yeah. been a re that's an update. That's an updated version of updated from like from so many nineties, maybe early nineties. So. We can look yeah. inside and see where the first one came from. They've probably been updated since then already. They yeah. do. There's so many, so many different versions. <laughs> then you've got here yeah, the medical marijuana horticulture from Jorge Cervantes. So it's Ed Rosenthal and Jorge Cervantes, two very iconic. Yeah, very uh, figures in Extremely, the cannabis scene, yeah. they're really known by everyone that's yeah. anyone. Mm -hmm. And then this book here is one of my first ones, which was actually by Jorge <coughs> Cervantes, Robert Carroll, Clark, and um, Ed Rosenthal. It's a real OG, like, old, 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 old black and, and nothing, white. Oh, wow. Because, like, getting back, getting to the basics of things, nothing's going to change. No, nothing's changed. It's, biology, a, well, it's, biology. A, it's the same thing. It's the same, it's just, pe they're just giving you more detail. I mean, if you have yeah, a look at... Right. The so only thing that's advancing is technology. And it's progress on plants information. Plants. Um, yeah, the inner workings plant of a plant. Yeah. Plant research. Plant, plant research, research exactly. So, I mean, that's how they were illustrating pests then. So, I know, I know what you mean about having a book. I, I, I ingest information better if it's on a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. And you sort of see the big picture mm. of two pages. You can highlight open. something and you can yeah. scratch a note. And, and it goes from that, and you've got... Jorge Cervantes, which is nice a good illustration. One. Very good book. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Pictures. And all mediums are growing, indoor, outdoor. Oh, he goes through he goes everything. He goes through the whole books. thing. He goes, and, he goes through everything. And oh. what, what era is this book? Uh, 2010s-ish. Okay. And have you noticed the one thing common in all three of these? But oh, there's a fourth 2006. one there. Yeah. It's, um, 2006. Yeah. It's 2006 there. Everyone's calling it marijuana. Yeah. America. America. Central South America. That's 93. Mm. So it's 93, yeah, it's 06. So why do you think they call why do you think they call it marijuana? Why is it if, if it's a botanic if it's a botanical book, why didn't they call it cannabis? Yeah. That's the name, dude. That's they own that they name. Yeah. They're not ashamed of the name. It's a billion way of 
Oh, right. Your faceless. And it goes. Well, isn't that what they were growing? Marijuana. They're like not Zool saying here. him. It's like Zol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So would it be easy to get these books if you go to Amazon or? Nowadays, the, yes. This one would be the easiest. This one won't be as easy. You'll get it in, in maybe second hand used. This one you probably will maybe not find except for in second hand stores. And this one you'll probably never find ever again. You'll probably never find this. Yeah. This is a book that Jules has brought out of his collection, which is really amazing to see. This book, this book is from 1969. Yes. 1969, this cannabis growing book was there. And they go into the basics immediately. I mean, it goes just, first page. Just, just, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Just take the front page in and look what's on the front as a... As a the, the front of the book. Look yes, what yes, is yes, the logo. Yes. Look what's on it. It's a little kid. A little kid watering a plant. <laughs> the With a peace sign. Just let that sink in, because 1968, Nixon wasn't even president yet. The war on drugs hadn't started. This is before any war on anything. This is a normal plant to grow as a companion <coughs> in your garden with everything else. Beautiful. And they had no compunction to just put a kid... A yeah. cute kid on watering yeah. the garden. And this is a basic book. I mean, look, they jump straight into it. The most planting, basic preparation of planting. Base, base. Sun. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, there you go. So Literally like, the basics. They, they, and it, you can see there's no pictures. Enemies. Has few enemies. Look, marijuana has few natural enemies. And then look at that sativa right in the middle. That's what they're growing out. It looks like some weird bamboo. <laughs> but yeah. look what they did. Look at what question they were tired of answering thought. then already. How do I don't know if it's a boy yeah. or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and look, they knew. <clears throat> I had some good photos as well. Yeah. Basics. Very, very basic. You know, look all, at that. Like, they all talk about even grow lights a little bit, some yeah. of these. But look at this. Wow. Look at this. This, is, this is like the OG photo. So check this. Like, are you joking? What year is that book? Yeah, uh, that's mid early no. 70s, is it maybe? Look out, Spalta! Look out, Spalta! Marijuana. 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 That's very right spelling. And then right. the centerfold on this, well, when we get there, what's the... Oaks, I must get the 1972. Stars. But that's, that's stars and that's the 12th printing in 1972. No, that font on the cover is like Star Trek. But Oaks has stars font. on, otherwise you can't show that centerfold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get the stars ready for this that Oaks, centerfold. This Oaks, right, Oaks, get the stars ready. Put your little sister star away. <laughs> because we're going to go straight for the pubes, <laughs> ne? Star Check what these Oaks knew back then already. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, these Oaks were woke. They're right woke. There, Look man. at that. Male, female, simple. Yeah, but it's a Durban poison, eh? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, man. It's, it's marijuana. It's from marijuana. Mexico. That's the stuff that came, that made... People the J, sleep together the and stuff. The is the American. So these are your H Bibles, man. Yeah. yeah. So these are your what you carry with you. You keep that in your book, in your car, in your bag the all the time. Cover. Yeah. So um, there's a front cover for you. You know. So if you go back to the uh, well, this book here. I'm going to show you the front cover of it because this is 1968 and this is also in the collection and this is the consumer and dealer's guide so this is actually how to make money from weed and there's a really classic passage in it here called don't get burnt when purchasing large quantities follow these simple rules <laughs> do your dealing straight over the table do not front your money sound advice Got some great comments, yeah? If holding a large amount of money, do not go alone with people you do not know or trust. If the deal looks shady, do not bring a gun or weapon to protect yourself, as this may lead to violence, injury, and legal trouble. <laughs> it's so naive. When, in, when in doubt, here's, and in italics, which is absolutely holds true to right now, mm. in italics, when in doubt, don't deal. Mm. True story. If That's you don't story. have it in your gut and it's not yeah. fully on, walk away for now. That's it. Things haven't changed that much, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Most, most, oh, sorry, okay. sorry, Buzz. Most <laughs> troubles ensue, ensue from greed and impatience. So, uh, greed. Greed yeah. and impatience. Like, greedy. like most things in life. Mm. True, true, eh? So, anyway, that is uh, the Marijuana Consumers and Dealers Guide from the More Stone like Kingdom guide. Syndicate from 1968. Stone and Kingdom. I have my mm. old friend Tonebone to thank for the collection. So these very are for nice. our... Uh, they're like precious. Yeah, very precious those. Yeah, I'll hide them in the front a little bit for... <coughs> they're, they're, um, 
they're really simple. And I don't suppose for any minute there's any. Uh, they weren't doing like solo cups and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were. Maybe they were. Because in some ways, how little things experience. have changed, eh? Mm. So we've got some great comments there. Koi Dan tunes. I have the marijuana horticulture by Hora. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my Bible. Dan. I agree, dude. It's my Bible. I was very fortunate to get it. It was like 500 bucks at exclusive books a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Pierre asked, Dan, when are you starting the clone soil test? We did say we're going to start yeah, it. Yeah, sorry, being chaotic this week, really yeah. busy. What's that? Industry is keeping me busy. What do you do? We're doing. We wanted. We're going to do a soil clone test with the different soils. You want to go wide again, guys? I'll get the camera. No, no, no it's no, fine. No, no not no, now. No, 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 not now. <laughs> no, the, guys, we'll do a soil shootout next week. We'll start it. Is yeah. that fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I we'll make an effort. Say. We promise, dude. We're not going to be like your stepdaddy and not forget or forget to pick you up from school. And then before we just go from the books. This is a book that we spoke of the last few times when we were in talking about soil. That one. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Back to one. That one there. Teaming with microbes. That's also another Bible. If you are a soil grower or really want to go organic down to the core, get the most out of it. Mm. You will get the, yeah, by reading this, you get the most out of your soil and understanding how this works and what, how they work. So yeah, and get yourself this book. And Jeff Lonefels is a master. He's a absolute, yeah, he's really good. Um, Dusty wants to know, look, my eyes are working. The Grower's Handbook by David somebody. Is that it worth any, uh, is it any good? The grower's, ha the, the grower's Handbook by David Robinson. Any good? I've never heard of it. Sorry. Okay. That's Who's coughing? Somebody's coughing is very irritating. Who's doing all the coughing? Anyway. Um, John V put up uh, another Cervantes link for a book called the Encyclopedia. The Cannabis Encyclopedia Def Definitive Cultivation and Consumption. That's quite a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. Especially uh, for that double barrel. Thank God, for, <laughs> thank God for Jesus and weed. And the kids must know. Tabo, you're Tabo and Soweto. I haven't seen Tabo around for a while. Hello, Tabo. Hello, my bro. And um, 1919 or 2019, dank stays dank. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But it must be a whole lot better than it was 50 years ago. I'm also sure pretty convinced of that as well because yeah. we've learned. You, we the learn science is refined more Lots of Cervantes star, lots of Cervantes big ups around here. He also did a great DVD set. Awesome DVD set. Darcy Grows is talking about the Grows Handbook by David Robinson. And he also knows teaming with microbes is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So cool. Um, sure. There must be second-hand market for them. There, are, there must be these. Uh, these yeah. yeah. This, this, this book here Amazon. that I got here was found in a second-hand store in yeah. London many, many years, about yeah. 15, 16, 16 years ago. You'll find, so. if you really want it, you'll find one second-hand cheap. Mm -hmm. Here, Online. South Africa, you won't find as many. Yeah. In Europe, you'll find them easy. Mm. Online, yes, you can. You can get them any, You can get them on Amazon yeah. any anytime. Amazon yeah. is amazing, and they're not that expensive. Yeah. That looks like you poured a watering can on it. Yeah, that was that got water on it. Yes, a lot of water. <coughs> <laughs> but so we know it's a good book. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. It was there. It's always near the grove. What's going to happen is I'm sure they'll become collectible like stamps and Pokemon cards and all those because as you see, the oaks who, va who truly value them use the shit out of them. So, so imagine it's going to be more valuable like, when they're like all <coughs> fucked up, but yeah. you can still read it all. So you? there's not much information in there that would be outdated today. No. Because no. it's basic. Um, you can go online and learn any of this stuff, but it's just good mm. to have this book close by when you're sitting no, there. Absolutely. Yes, you books can, you, are always better. Nowadays, we always have our phone with us, so you can Google absolutely anything, but it's there. Yeah. You just go into the index and you just look up exactly what yeah, you're thinking okay. at that exact time and you go to that page yeah, and say, right. it's there, right, what right. you want to find out. It's not about now having to decipher... 25 different people's opinions about what this flippant pro know what problem to do. is. Yeah. This is from people that have done the research Hands for on. you. Yeah. It's there. Because in a way, it's hard. These things were hard to find in the day, Oaks. For all you all yeah. who have these kind of books at home, you know, you didn't just have these. This was pre Amazon and 56k dial up and all that I said to get these things. Ba -dang, ba -dang. So, <laughs> you know, Dan's right. We live in this clutter now where there's so much information, it's too much information, it's so hard to decipher, but when you buy a book like one of these, even in today's terms, you take it and it just puts you on the track. You mm. take the book and you start at the beginning. Because I tell you what, I've seen Oaks who haven't read a fucking Hardy Boy in their life read mm. these things back to back, you yeah. know? Yeah. <clears throat> the police took my um, Ed Rosenthal book Oh, the, we had coffee table books. One was the Canna Bible. I think that's your set of copies there, Buzz, isn't it? The mm -hmm. Canna Bibles. 
the triple. They took that and they took the Ed Rosenthal uh, medical, uh, the marijuana mm. you know, growers handbook because they said it was like subversive and it's like. And they looked in the back and they saw pictures of lights and they said, "That's what we're after. That's <clears throat> what we're looking for." <laughs>